Welcome to our first ever Firestorm Report. In the future, you're going to be seeing all sorts of different things that are going on in athletics. We're going to be highlighting sports, and we're going to be doing that on a weekly basis, posting it to YouTube for all of you to be able to watch, to see what's going on behind the scenes, to get scores, to talk to coaches, players. We're just going to tell you, tell you everything that's going on in athletics. So this week, I went out to practice this morning to go visit with Coach Yanis and a couple of the football players about the practices that they've been having over the last two weeks. Check it out. Uh, what's, what, first of all, what's different about this year's team? Well, I think we have uh, most of our team here in the spring, and the maturity and uh, the experience that we have with our team has, has greatly improved being here you know, 15 months. So no doubt about it, and the kids know what we're expecting out of them. The coaches three, one, two, three, are, are demanding that, and the kids are really performing well. How about goals? What goals is, have you set either as, for a coaching staff, as your team? Um, what do you guys have going on for this year as your goals? Well, we're playing in the Central States uh, Football League this year, and so our goal is to win that win that championship. So that's our goal. But our goal really to be is uh, team first, putting the team first and living by our pillars, faith, family, education, and football. And, and that's what our young men are doing. I think we're growing in all those areas. I think I've heard it around campus, but what's this year's motto for the team? Team first. Team first. It's putting team first, keeping it's it's about uh, we, not me. Now, I've also heard about the coaching staff going through some programs to help you guys become better coaches. Um, something about 3D coaching. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, 3D coaching is great. It's not just talking about the physical part of it, the football part. It's the talking about the body, mind, and the spirit. And and we're really trying to emphasize that in all of our drills and our in our meetings and such with our coaches. And you know, living it, living life through our faith. You know, and putting. We're, you know, we, we're talking about putting faith first. And as coaches, we want to. You know, we want to emulate that to our players and demonstrate what it is to be a godly man and husband and father. Right, two weeks are in the books. Two weeks of practice are done. How do you feel about the team so far? Uh, great progress. Just seeing a lot of men grow both on and off the field and a lot of buy-in and what we're doing, what we're teaching. And both sides of the ball are, are doing a, a great job and implementing what we're doing offensively, defensively. And we're putting a big emphasis on special teams. So I think we're going to win a championship. It's got to be, we got to be great on the special teams portion. So we're doing that. And my last question for you, Coach, some coaching changes this year. Uh, coach Olson uh, was blessed to be able to go and become a head coach. So we have a new defensive coordinator, Dave Johnson. Tell us a little bit about some of the other coaching changes. Tell us a little bit about Coach Johnson. Well, we're sad to see Willie Dudley, who's now the head coach of Fountain Hills, and Adam Olson, who's now the head coach of Phoenix Christian, go. But that's the way it is when you know you have great coaches and they have opportunities to make themselves better for them, their family. So we're excited about their opportunities. But we're also excited Dave Johnson, our new defensive coordinator, is a godly man who's going to put kids first and so we're excited about him and what he's doing and um, coach Pat Farrell new new addition to our staff on the offensive side of the ball Hall of Fame National Hall of Fame coach uh, that won many state titles at St. Mary's High School and then Grant O'Brien a NAU former assistant um, is, is coaching our secondary so those are the three main cogs that we have and we have a number of operations guys that have done just an unbelievable unbelievable job Kyle Gray and uh, coach Cooper have been outstanding so works you know I'm really blessed to have a great staff. If you're going to have a great football program, you're only as good as your staff is, and I think we're blessed to have a great one. Now tell us who this is with you here. This is PJ Sparks, our senior running back. Hey. I'm excited about him and where he's at in his faith and what he's doing as a godly man and a godly husband. And also, he's obviously a great football player. So Appreciate we're excited it. about PJ. Thanks, Coach. So PJ, practice was a little crazy today. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, what, how does that intensity that you guys have, how does that translate into your game? Uh, I think it's fantastic being able to come out here and implement uh, game speed. Um, and then also with the tackling and going, uh, going on Bandit, which is almost full contact, that really helps us because now we're going game ready every single day instead of uh, just going game ready maybe uh, you know just two days out of the week. We're doing it every day, which is really nice. Um, and that helps people you know, get motivated to go out there to play hard and uh, just to show what they have, but also not show what they have for themselves but for the team. Really cool. Now, as tense as, as intense it is out here with you guys, how do you guys balance doing all those classes and your papers and work and keeping your grades up and coming out here and studying film? How do you balance all of that? Uh, I think for me personally, um, I have a family at home, so I really don't have that much time to, uh, uh, I guess, 
waste. Um, so it's just about keeping a schedule. Um, also for me, I like to write my things down so I can see what I'm doing and just making time for things. It's you, you have enough time, you just have to make time for those things that are important to you. So uh, it's definitely the pillars that coach talks about and just keeping those uh, daily and making sure that you do them. And I mean, sometimes it does get kind of hard having practice, wanting to be tired, but you have to be able to give up sleep to, uh, to proceed in the things that you wanna do and do it 100% in every area of your life. Now, a couple of really important questions. I've seen on Twitter, what does Talons Up mean? Talons Up. Man, my from my definition, my understanding of Talons Up, uh, okay, so we're the firestorm, so obviously it's a bird. Um, when we swoop down to get our prey, it's Talons Up. You mm. got They open up their talons and they go down for the kill. <laughs> okay, the, probably the most important question. Last practice before spring break. You going anywhere special for spring break? Man, staying home gonna see my, my wife and my daughter and make sure that I get some family time with them and they say it takes about a week to de-stress so it'll take me a week to de-stress and then I'm right back at it so I'm just gonna be resting doing homework uh, making sure I really do diligence and get into the word because you know we, we slack at that sometimes and I think that's so important to to really do and stay in that every single day sounds like a good plan thanks a lot for joining us today thanks I appreciate it Thank you for watching our first ever Firestorm Report. We hope that you enjoyed what we brought for you today. There's going to be lots of new things happening in athletics, so please follow us on our Twitter. You can follow football on their Twitter. I'll put them on the screen below me. And you can watch for us on for new YouTube videos all the time. We'll be posting things about all of the sports and all of the things that are happening in the athletic department. We'll see you soon.